Hi, this is Cassandra Xavier with a book recommendation, sort of an unusual one, I suppose. Today is July 20, I'm sorry, July uh, 15th, 2014. I'm in Philadelphia. So the deal with this book, um, why I'm recommending it is because it's a wonderful book and I've been suggesting it for years for people. It's called The Soulmate Secret Manifest the Love of Your Life with the Law of Attraction by Ariel Ford. The reason I'm mentioning it today is because I've decided, I started using the book differently today. Um, Ariel Ford was very successful in her career and was uh, really mastering um, benefiting from the Law of Attraction uh, for, for a long time in manifesting places to live and a wonderful career and she became very successful in her career and at age 44 found herself single, unmarried, unable to have the kind of relationship she wanted. So she had this idea which was brilliant which was to apply the techniques that she'd used so successfully um, in, in other areas of her life toward finding her right partner. Um, and it worked very, very well, and everything that she did, she put in this wonderful book. So I, I, I love this book. Um, however, I don't have a whole lot of resistance to this kind of thing. I actually manifest partners pretty easily. However, I have some serious issues with um, my home life, um, finding consistent, comfortable, steady home, and also that same kind of security financially in my career as an artist, as a multimedia artist. So I decided to use the soulmate secret <laughs> until I find other books, until I actually receive other books that I get, like I want to get The Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. They actually coined the term Law of Attraction a long time ago. They're the originators. So until I get those books, this is what I have, as well as another book called um, Ask and It Is Given. Um, I think I just sh ask, accidentally showed you my, my room, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, Learning to Manifest Your Desires by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. Again, the originators of the uh, Law of Attraction phrase. So, um, so I'm going to be writing about my experience of home and, um, and how the, the Soulmate Secret book is helping me. So when I read The Soulmate Secret now, Every time I see the word soulmate or partner of your dreams or whatever, I just replace that with home and career. Home and career. Because I realized I do have some major, major um, limiting thoughts and beliefs about what I deserve insofar as home life and career. Um, the home life is related to what the way I grew up and certain things that made me feel unvalued and certain things that I went through growing up as a child that I associated that with home life as being unhappy. And I think that is something that survivors go through, which is another reason that I'm going to be talking about it. I think survivors probably attract unhappy home life situations because it's what they are familiar with. So I'm 45 now, and I'm just now starting to get this stuff. I'm very privileged to be able to share it as an artist. I'm very privileged that anything I experience in my life is material. And I only hope that it, it helps and touches someone along the way. So I will be writing about my journey here and how I um, transform the situation. And thank you so much for being involved in my life. Thank you, as I usually say, thank you for your continued support of my art slash work, therefore life. Cassandra Xavier, ciao.